My wife and I are a great match. For example, I've got a nine-inch penis, and she doesn't know which way around to hold a ruler. <laughs> Three inches there, in case I haven't figured that one out. I'm not saying my wife's embarrassed about me, but at our wedding, I was only invited to the evening do. <laughs> I used to be a fortune teller, but all I ever predicted was really cold winters. Turned out the crystal ball shop had sold me a snow globe. <laughs> my dad's been suffering from seizures. So far, they've taken his car, his house, and his boat. <laughs> the word boat that's doing all the legwork in that joke. So you've got a boat, either you're a fucking idiot with money or you've been on bullseye. <laughs> either way. <laughs> the wife and I have been trying to recapture the sex life we had when we were younger. So the other day I sent her a dick pic and she texted back, unsubscribe. <laughs> as soon as I said dick pic, you sneezed. I... <laughs> have you seen a hypnotist recently? <laughs> Don't check your phone. Right, anyway. <laughs> People who say that ketamine should be banned should get down off their high horse. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of puns, by the way. I love a pun. One time, I <clears throat> One time I persuaded my kid brother to swallow a torch. It was worth it just to see his little face light up. <laughs> My golf instructor said I need to work on my follow-through. I said, it must swing. He said, no, you got shit down the back of your trousers. <laughs> so last week, I launched a book aimed at 9 to 12-year-olds, and I'm proud to say I hit one of the little shits. <laughs> so that was good. I found out two new things this week. Number one, sperm isn't actually good for your skin. And number two, my dermatologist has been struck off. <laughs> Since the last time I go to his caravan. <laughs> of course, the best part of having an argument is making up afterwards with hot, angry sex. But if anything, that made the traffic warden even more cross. <laughs> I don't like sex in the shower. It's slippy, dangerous, and one of the worst things about prison. <laughs> one time I went to A&E with a vacuum cleaner nozzle stuck up my ass, and the nurse said, well, how did that happen? I said, well, I was doing the vacuuming naked, and I decided to stick the nozzle up my ass. <laughs> Should have seen the look on Henry's face. <laughs> and he don't just come out of the closet. <laughs> my favourite bit of that joke. Whenever my wife's away, my favourite thing to do is to poo with the door open and really surprise the postman. Whenever my wife says she fancies an early night, I know that means sexy time, you know, because I can stay up late watching porn. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of observational material there. I like watching husbands get nudged in the ribs. There's a bit of a roll of the eyes there. <laughs> Don't worry, it works both ways nowadays. It's fine. <laughs> uh, you've got my laugh, sir. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Unless you're just a brick wall and that's an echo, in which case I'm going to be here for a very long time. <clears throat> I like to think of my wife as a trophy wife because her ears stick out and she's got the previous winner's names tattooed down her back. <laughs> mm. 
when I suggested we try using a strap-on, she was right behind me. <laughs> I remember one time at school, the teacher asked me for a word with four eyes, so I said, Mississippi. He said, no, I mean, I want to have a word, you specky twat. <laughs> My wife got herself a rampant rabbit. I wouldn't say it's her favourite sex toy, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> I don't carry a donor card. I find it depressing enough the amount of women who've rejected my organ whilst I'm alive. <laughs> I was at the dentist. He said, I have to warn you, this is going to hurt. I said, what is it? He said, your wife thinks I've got a bigger cock. I said, you think that, but she doesn't know which way around to hold a ruler. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for watching. Um, if you like that sort of stuff, you can subscribe. There's more videos on my channel, including some stuff that's never been on the telly. Uh, also, I've got a big tour coming up, uh, garydelaney.com for dates and for alerts for when it comes to your area. Uh, I've got a book out called Fundamentalist. If you like that sort of thing, there's a thousand jokes in that, none of which are going to be in the forthcoming tour. And also there's a free download of my first tour and later my second tour, like a 50 minute download with no ads. That's available to people who are on my mailing list, which you can join at garyglaney.com. Right, that's it. Sir Arabit.